Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today, let's take a look at how to dig around a gas line. A lot of homeowners uh, afraid to dig around that area. And yeah, you need a little caution, but it is not hard to do. Let me show you how easy this is and how you can definitely do this yourself. Digging around the gas meter. This is something the homeowner is really afraid to do and you shouldn't be because they've supposedly marked the lines. You can see the flag. Of course, we know where the meter is. But what we're doing is we're parging this wall. So we need to dig down so that we can seal this wall, install our footer pipe and pump it out to the street. Let's get started. So remember, always call and get those utilities located. That is the law and always dig by hand across those areas. So you have to get down here to this. You, we've got to get down to the footer. We're going to have to dig around that gas line. There's no other choice. So here's a couple of good tips. Typical depth of a gas line is 14 inches and that's pretty much standard everywhere. So that gives you some idea, you know, as you dig down that you're going to find that gas line. The pipe is usually polypropylene pipe. That's a plastic pipe. And it's very strong, but that point of the shovel, if you hit that plastic, you're, you're going to hear it. It'll definitely pop that line. So just be very careful as you dig. If you're digging in a rooted area like I am right here, then you've got to be even more careful because you don't know what that is. It could be a tree root or it could be that pipe. So just take your time, dig slowly. The other thing is there's usually caution tape across the top about six inches above the pipe. Not always, but sometimes. There is also a yellow wire. This is the locating wire. If you find that wire, that means you are right beside the pipe. So be very careful at that point. Probably the best advice is when in doubt, use a smaller shovel. It's really important. You must use force to get down. You've got to push that shovel down through the soil. But when you're in doubt, use a smaller shovel. Scrape away the soil slowly. Remember, there could be tree roots, rocks, irrigation. You can see that irrigation right there. Who knows what's underground? Yes, they located that line, but they're, they're not telling you how deep it is or exactly where it is. Take your time. Polypropylene pipe is pretty tough stuff, but if you do hit that with the point of your shovel, it is easy to poke a hole in it. Okay, let's take a look. We got the meter, and right underneath the meter, there is an irrigation line. Got to be careful. But what we're looking for is this yellow wire. Can you see this wire? This is a locating wire. The locators come out and they actually hook directly up to this wire. That way they can find the line, they can locate it, they can hear a signal all the way out to the main gas line out front. And they do have it marked. They got a couple flags. You can see there's a line running through there. This gas line is right at 14 inches deep. And this is pretty standard, you know, almost everywhere. It's going to be 14 to 16 inches deep. And yes, it can be much shallower. It really depends on that contractor that installed the gas line. So we're going to go ahead and finish this up and then show you what it looks like when it's complete. This is a really great project for the do-it-yourselfer and don't be afraid to dig around the utilities. So remember, we are going to dig down and parge this wall. That means seal the wall. Parging just refers to sealing. So we're going to dig down to the footer and we're going to seal this wall. We use blackjack number 57 for our sealer. It is a, a liquid rubber. It does a great job of sealing that off. You know, here in Florida, the groundwater is so high that most of the homes have this problem. Can you see the cracks there in the wall and how, how much moisture there is on this wall? That is stucco and block. And look at all the moisture in there. This is a sump system that's going to lift this water up from the footer pipe. But what I wanted you to really see is, remember how the gas line was there and the irrigation? So we turned our footer pipe and went around the side. You can easily add gravel between the footer and the pipe. It's going to work great. It's going to allow that water to flow right over to your system and be carried away. Do we wrap this? No. I just simply put this down. It's just enough to move that water over to 
the footer pipe, which is already wrapped, as you can see. And you can see that we're just right at the footer level. And here we're backfilling it because we're almost done. But what a great project for the do-it-yourselfer. This is something that you guys can do and save truly thousands of dollars. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Grains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Don't forget about live help, video consultation. We can help you solve any problem that you have and not just talk about it. We can actually help you figure out exactly what you need and how to go about it and solve the problem the right way.